Hello, this is Jonathan again with the SS Motion giving you another Assassin's Creed Mega Box review. And today is another brand new set, which is the Heavy Borgia Soldier. Uh, it retails at between six to ten pounds. Is set CNG89, has 36 pieces, and is just a fantastic looking army builder, isn't it? Okay, so as I've mentioned in the previous Adewale review, uh, this weapon pack idea is basically from Call of Duty and Halo. We've seen them in those lines for a bit now. Uh, so now we're seeing it being copied in the Assassin's Creed line. And they've really done a very good job for the first two. We got Adewale as the good guy pack, and for this bad guy pack we're getting a highly requested fan favourite Heavy Borgia Soldier. Now these guys are the uh, juggernauts, as it were, of the Assassin's Creed universe, and were in Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood. So these are the big guys that you couldn't kill normally, you had to do special moves, counters, etc. You couldn't just hack away and hope that you'd win, because they would put you down. So once again, this figure is based upon the typical Assassin's Creed body. So you have the ball joints in the head, shoulders, elbows, then you have the swivel leg pieces. Really great for posability. But then you get a lot of uniquely sculpted parts for this figure. You get some sort of metallic metal armor for the legs, some new um, gloves area, uh, a fantastic helmet, which surprisingly can be removed to reveal a head. I kind of thought that it'd be a solid piece, so I'm glad that they included it as an actual removable piece that you can just pull off. And then, even better, you can then pull the other head off and then pull off his uh, combat vest, as it were. It comes off exactly like the uh, Halo and Call of Duty armor to reveal his uh, undershirt. So it's a completely customizable figure. You know, you have the uh, metal armor, you've got the metal helmet. And then you've got the actual figure itself, which can be customised. You could add anything to this or com have him completely exposed. Completely up to you, but it's a great little figure. You even get a unique belt piece as well, which is absolutely fantastic. They've really not cut back on the detail in this figure. They could have just had another Borgia soldier that we've seen from the troop packs. Instead, they went for something a little bit more detailed and... It, it really pays off. It really does pay off. I'm glad that they've done it. And like I said earlier, it's a great army builder. You see these guys in quite a large quantity in the games. So I'd recommend getting a few of these, equipping with different weapons. And you've got a nice little Borgia army to fight. Now as we can see on this figure, he comes with this massive battle axe. Which I absolutely love. It's got some great paint apps for the wood area. And then it blends into the silver metal bit that's been added on the top for the actual weapon bit. And this can also be plugged into the uh, weapon rack as well, if you unplug one of these. You also get the spiked mace and the spear, which is absolutely great. All of them fit in his hands, no problem. There's no issues with posability. They add great little features, and they add a good bit of variation. If you've got a few of these guys, you could mix it up a bit. Different armor layouts, different weapon layouts, whatever you want. It's absolutely fantastic set. So if we look more detailed into this weapon rack, it's a relatively simple build on a typical tile. It's not too spectacular, but the gold really makes it stand out. It's an absolutely fantastic piece, and you can imagine it blending in with the uh, Borgia Tower or the Borgia Troop Pack that we've already had. It, it, it merges well with the whole scene that we've had already. So for six to ten pounds, you're getting a fantastically articulated and detailed figure. The red really stands out on the guy. The armor really stands out. It's all removable. You get extra weapons. It's an absolutely fantastic little set, and it's a great comparison to the um, Adewale set. You know where you got the good guy. This is the bad guy. Granted, they aren't from the same time period, but it's good that they're doing a versus kind of concept. And this guy would go well in anyone's collection. He looks really, really imposing. And he looks great beside any Assassin's Creed figure that you've got. Highly recommend you pick it up. They are out there. Go hunting. I hope you find some. And I would love to see someone army build these. So please send us a picture if that's going to be you. Okay, so that's it for this review. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have. Don't forget to like, favourite and subscribe. Uh, we'll be bringing more videos to you shortly of new Halo, Assassin's Creed and Call of Duty sets. We're very excited about them. We hope you are too. 
we will be posting those up shortly, so stay tuned for more. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Bye.